Hello, we are live. Um, just trying to, I am replying to Emily Morganti at the moment uh, on Twitter. Um, if you're not familiar with who Emily, Emily is, and I hope I, I pronounced that right. She's a big part of the PR side of um, early Telltale and many adventure games since. And she's just, you know, adventure games, ultimate PR person. Um, uh, trying to trim my my reply to fit twitter uh sorry not exactly how we start this uh hello friends and fellow monkeyology enthusiasts uh i am grant glow kid yeager and we are here today to play salmon max hit the road uh today's been a pretty neat day for salmon max fans as a physical edition of salmon max save the world has been announced uh as Skunk Ape has, or Skunk Ape, which, to which, whether it's one way or another, the answer is apparently officially yes. Um, and uh, they, they have partnered with Limited Run Games, uh, who many of the community will know from recent releases like Monkey Island Sega CD Collector's Edition of, and Standard, as well as the Monkey Island Anthology. Uh, also, you know, Limited Run Games sort of got their start by... Doing something with Thimbleweed Park, perhaps? I'm not sure. I have to look further into that, uh, making a claim that I'm not sure. All right, sorry. Hey, ATM. Sorry, I was uh, replying to Emily Morganti on uh, Twitter. Uh, so, okay. Uh, I, I had a ton of um, hardware issues myself just getting things started. Um, my I've been working this laptop to the bone doing this. Uh, so, I just pray that it doesn't drop dead on me in the middle of one of these things. Or in the middle of trying to do something cool. Um, so, uh, we are playing Sound Max Hit the Road. We are playing the DOS version. I decided because it has an interesting little intro-ish. Uh, so, it, it has intro software uh, the, uh, in the version that I have here. Oh, let's actually select that. And what did I do? I didn't, like, kill anything. Okay. Occasionally that happens. Um, we are captured. Yes, they um all right and i should put on my head so i can actually hear what's going on uh did we lose everything on that phone no cool all right so um i was gonna use uh the mt32 soundtrack and despite my best efforts i couldn't get that working that way so maybe it'll be that way on the next stream um thankfully we don't have to start over if we change the sound card uh but um we are going to enjoy sound blaster which is frankly the way i heard it in the first place so let's go ahead and jump right in loading sounds please wait mm. i do think um in terms of intro setup this may be the first time where you're a you had the opportunity of choosing a mixed ad lib midi mode because We've i did notice you could go to advanced settings times. and select and something that can handle your uh midi and then uh your regular you sound your digital sound and for that you'll I fry it. like a pork sausage it's not that i don't like you it's just that, that well you're too nice a guy i guess 
I think I'd rather go out with someone more of the unpredictable. Alright. So, um, I'm going to mute that so I don't continue Hello. to be distracted by it. Like um, and I hope nobody thinks that like I'm ignoring them there. Hostage situation, Max. Oh, Ooh, let's, uh... Does this mean we get to kick some pup? There we go. Be white mad scientist butt. Can't think of a reason not to. Can't think of a reason not to. You'll be of no use, freelance police. Uh, With unpopular opinion, potentially? Bill Burr would make a great a max. Atomic I knew he wasn't a real doctor. I just worry that Shall his personal his personal personality might try to override it if he was Set ever given up, that as a voice role. Um, that being said, I think hey, nice one. Eh, maybe it's just the accent. Oh. I don't know, and the high pitched voice. He's not a real guy, Sam. Can I keep his head for a souvenir? Why do you suppose it's ticking? That's no head, Max. It's one damn ugly, ugly time bomb. bomb. Let's leave this criminal cesspool pronto. Good I just want to grab all my Sam and Max stuff and start showing it off. <laughs> I'm really excited for the physical release of uh, now, uh, me, Save the World. I'll be picking that up like in multiple formats. Um, I still Sam, have my original case file. That's what I was talking to uh, Max, Emily Morgan we'll about. Um, was that. Uh, although I do think my teddy bears magnet is on my parents fridge because i was always worried about keeping it in my collection it's a magnet and i got magnetic media right <laughs> and while i i imagine it was written to be heard on an mt32 this is the way i heard it originally so this is Okay, good. For some reason, uh, in, after I made my post earlier, we, I can't find Sean Clark on Twitter, so I wasn't able to tag him um, when I was making my announcement thing earlier. There's like a bunch of Sean Clarks on Twitter. Um, but uh, for some reason, after I made the announcement, my brain suddenly put an E after the K after it, and I was like, well, did I misspell that on top of it? My infographic is uh, a joke. <laughs> Couldn't get the the Guybrush inserted in such a way that wasn't jarring, so I just tried to tried to make uh, text funny at least. Do, 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 do. Um, also, today I was uh, reached out to. I had commented on. Uh, uh, Tall Story Game, well, uh, Tom Hardwich is a developer from Tall Story uh, Games who's just put out the Lucy Dreaming demo and uh, Hair of the Dog uh, to new point and click adventures. Hair of the Dog is a, a shortest uh, adventure, uh, which was a lot of fun that me and my wife uh, played during our After Dark streams. Um, and, and uh, yeah, had been uh, chatting a little bit earlier about the games that I'm eager for those to come out um, and they said wow, they had boxed the stream so thank you very much uh, for checking out the, the channel guys we really really appreciate it and uh, Hardwitch has about, uh, uh, followed us as well so thank you very much for following us uh, and we yeah, I personally can't wait to play further in uh, Lucy Dreaming I am still searching for the Easter egg. I will not Max, uh, stream that, that though, because I want everybody to be able to enjoy this giant Easter egg hunt, window, hunt too, There's and I think anybody puts out a uh, video that finds it is ruining it for other people, so I wouldn't want to do that. This is really fun. That's cool. I hope there was nobody on that bus. <laughs> nobody we know, at least. All right, ATM. Thanks for popping on, man. And, uh, uh, yeah, no, today's... <laughs> Today's been served, so uh, hopefully see you later. But if Hello? not, uh, yes. you have an awesome day, and thanks again for. Oh yeah, I have. Uh, I have a space button, map yes. to yes. that mouse button. No, <laughs> really. All right. Well, Here's that, and uh, have a great day. Another confused census taker.
Actually, it was the commission Please. with another idiotic Please. and baffling yeah. assignment. Does it involve wanton destruction? We can only hope. Due to the arbitrarily sensitive nature of the mission... Yep, I have it on in us, boss. I, I, uh... I, I made a point of it, and uh, like at the beginning of the stream, I launched it from uh, DOS itself, so it came up with the very highly animated LucasArts menu, and then to the launch menu where you can do, like, uh, the sound cards and everything like that. And I wish I was, at, for some reason, I couldn't get MT32 to work in any way, shape, or form, so I'm, I'm just going all straight Sound Blaster here, even though this is the first time I do believe that you could split... Um, between MIDI and that in advanced options, because I did notice that in the setup. But, uh, couldn't make it work, so all Sound Blaster, but that's how I played it anyway, so, uh, sounds fun. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's, let's check some messages. Oh I'm boy, we've got a Ooh. message. Gee, I hope it's something eerily provocative. Hey, you're the jerk who sideswiped me on the Queensboro <laughs> Bridge. Don't think I didn't get a good look at your long, fluffy ears. See you in court. I have to get a new version of my We may bond. have to go over there and terrify the righteous indignity out of that little fellow. Because everything has the black outlines. And that's not the type of font that I use in my things. The only way I can get a close approximation is by using a uh, long shadow or drop shadow. Okay. You're just in my way right now. That's fine. We'll, we'll go over here. This would be more impressive in the dark, I think. <laughs> Turn that bang off so I can pick it up like I'm supposed to. Yeah, no, it's not gonna let me do anything with me, no. me, me. You can do it. I have noticed one thing that I have noticed in making my infographics and everything like that is um, it is more and more difficult to have light colors on the screen. And more often than not, I have to come up with something like drop shadow, etc. So I can really see a lot why they have. Um, outlines on here to give separation between this and that. Um, Sam's feet would, or in certain shading, like his hands would blur in with certain things. Ooh. Just gotta enjoy all the, the animations, because damn, did they do a wonderful job. And this is Purcell getting to like flex, so. Got it. But I still need to get the money, so, yeah. There we go. No generic pickup animations here. <laughs> Cash, never leave home without it. Yeah, we may need it to bribe slippery government officials. You want a piece of me, huh? Well, take a piece of this. Brutal. But very true to life. And there's one for your old man. I really respect Flint's business acumen. Please, Sam, don't use the word acumen again. Talking to me. Maybe. Are you a cleverly disguised bonded city courier? Maybe. Are you the freelance police? Yes, but don't go blabbing it to everybody. I think he's kind of cute, Sam. Can I make a tennis racket out of him? Maybe later, Max. Right now, we've got a message from the commissioner to collect. I, I, I believe oh, yeah, ATM right. is gone at this point. Uh, if he was still here, 
I, I would point out to him Sorry, guys. that those pigeons up evening. top above Bosco's well, now I can't seem to could be up. EGA quite easily. <laughs> it looks like drunk pigeon. Making a point of not just doing my auto playthrough route hey, as well. I don't think Mr. Bosco's voluntarily giving away his money. Oh, I'm <laughs> real terrified. A dog and a rabbit. Ooh, scary. Max, <laughs> the smart ass kid doesn't think we're scary. What do you think about that? <laughs> That's telling him, little buddy. Fucking like love Simon Max. Max I think that punk learned a valuable lesson, Sam. And uh, too, Murray tattoos. I didn't realize that the lower left tattoo. Well, this will, this will be the cover to the truck's revenge. This will be the cover to Secret of Monkey Island, but works in progress at the moment. Also, point and click. <laughs> point and click tattoos on my fingers. It started off as a joke, then I committed to it. Getting up. I don't know where he's been. Hey, Max. I just love to turn this guy inside out. Max Ooh, is very idea. useful. <laughs> According to these orders, something bizarre is happening at the carnival. I thought that was the whole point. Maybe we should check it out when we've got nothing better to do, like guinea time. All right. Let's go for a drive. Dive it, Max. Let's let you go wherever, like pretty much right out the bat. And yeah, you unlock a lot of places on the way. Some of these are the same thing. There's a mini game. Mini games are fun. I don't often play the mini game, but we'll see. Uh, let's go to the circus. Tom Nation and Blimey, the idea. So now what do we do? Now, now we get in the bus and look for them, you idiot. I knew that. Get out of Mr. Bumpus way, ye partially clad varmints. Who is that? I don't know. They both go to the same hairstylist as guys as they put in future games. You're a demonic little imp, Max. Look, Bushman Mr. Brothers shows. Hall of Oddity. Weird. Creepy. Are you the ticket taker? Sorry, boys, we are closed. What? I can't let you in. Okay. Insurance reasons, you know. Poppycock. Let us in, only your breath. Nope. I want a corn dog. You'd better have a better reason than that if you expect me to let you in. Who are those misanthropes at the gate? Which misanthropes? The short one with the bad hairpiece and the tall one with the dark flinty eyes. Hey, I just work here. Anything else? I'll be back. I can hardly wait. Listen up, Mac. Check We're on official. Out, We're the Visit freelance me. police. Here's our authorization to be here. Now let us in before we replace you with a cheap renewable fuel source. Let me run this by the boss. Yeah, that didn't work. Uh, I guess you can go in. 
But be careful. Cannibals can be dangerous to your health. <laughs> That was needlessly cryptic. I'd be peeing my pants if I wore any. Let's just point out again Everything the beauty of the animations here. in this game. Sam, look over there. And if you're, you're a fan of Purcell's animation How work you in the these games, in me. particular, like. In the, well, in, I tried talking to you, but you, you can were really see in your own self -pity. the style within it. Now, yeah, I'm sure I'm also missing other them. people's work as well, and I couldn't say, "Oh, that one was." But Hi, I mean, this is I'm Chef Cushman, you know, and this is my brother Burl. Welcome to our anyway. carnival. What's left of it? I'm Sam. He's Max. Well, we savagely protect the rights of innocence. Savagely protect the rights. Even of cruelly innocence. twisted ones, such as yourself. Selves. Whatever. Well, you sound like just the guys to solve our little problem. Walk this way. See this melted block of ice? Never go for How the easy How could we miss game. it? This used to be our main attraction. Your main attraction was a block of ice? Don't be dense. Our main attraction was a genuine, authentic, real life Bigfoot on ice. Hey, let me get this straight. You want us to go traipsing all over the country looking for a soggy Bigfoot? I've never been traipsing before. Does it hurt? <laughs> but Bruno must be returned to us. He's a brutish, ignorant beast with no sense of right or wrong. Hey, who isn't? Besides, he's kidnapped Bruno's our second a nice main guy. attraction. He's not the guy's a jerk. No, it's Trixie the giraffe neck girl from Scranton. She disappeared at the same time Bruno did. We can only assume that the monster took her when he made his escape. I guess Max and I could search for your missing freaks, but we'll need free run of the carnival to look for clues. The human and yeah, and free Man corn dogs, or chicken so we can dumpling. you all over ourselves. No problem. Here's an all-day free pass. Leave everything to us, and we'll have those abominations of nature back in your protective care before you can read the Koran. Didn't he fight Godzilla? save here because there um i remember growing up and since i'm playing this in dos box i'm vulnerable to old bugs i did not get any use any sort of patch and i'm using one of my old box copies uh oh, the one that i particularly am playing this is uh the sound the the talkie fault cd-rom version it came in uh comes with the official hint book and it came in a very neat little sort of folding cardboard uh case as well where this would uh, also become sort of like uh, a stand i guess i don't know but it's a very neat design to it um uh as well as um a receipt from this is not my original copy. This is one I picked up years later on the thing. But this uh, has a receipt from Babbage's, uh, where it costs originally $54.99. There was $3.85 of sales tax. Uh, and this was sold in Aurora, Illinois, um, at 16 Fox Valley Suite, 2464, Route 59 and New York Avenue. Uh, Babbage's, America's software headquarters. Um, I personally, I, I live in Canada, uh, Canada, so I've never, never did have the the uh, pleasure of going to a Babbage's. If it's anything like some of the software stores uh, we had, or or some of the places where we sold software, uh, I'm sure it was wonderful. 
and I miss those places. Um, so we are going to save here just because uh, I do remember experiencing some glitches during Wacker Rat back in the day. Now I'm doing this through DOSBox, so it probably won't be the same sort of thing. It was probably dependent on my system back then, but uh, I don't even know why I bothered giving it a name. I never give them that. It's usually math buttons. Anyway, sometimes or I can't pick out. that up. You. I want something. Oh, I broke the flashlight. But it's not broken. Uh, so I gotta really grab this thing over here, this giant lens. Alright, we have some stuff now. Let's lose everything. Oh, that's not even sort of pointing at me. Yeah. Hopefully my audio hasn't been too low, I'm sure. Uh, ATM would have mentioned if you could bear here back then. Um, let's talk to this guy. Excuse us. We need some help, and although you seem dangerously unequipped brain-wise, we've come to you for advice. Huh? Whoa, you're a big boy. That's why I sit down all the time. Do you guys all go to the same tattoo parlor or what? No. Actually, these aren't tattoos. It's my natural skin. Interesting. Do I want to ask you know about Bruno Brown? the Bigfoot? Who wants to know? We're the freelance police and we're in a race against time. And we're barefoot. Barefoot race against All time. All I know about Bruno is what the Cushmans tell me. Well, that was useless. You might want to try the Tunnel of Love, though. Rumor has it that one of Bruno's buddies hangs out in there. Oh, let's go, Sam. Oh, hush. Do you have any idea what happened to Trixie? Trixie the giraffe girl from Scranton? No, Trixie the talkative poodle. She's my best customer. She used to ride the cone of tragedy for hours on end. I loved the way her neck used to whip back and forth when I cranked it up to full speed. Your sadism is a credit to your profession. Me and my partner want to ride the cone of tragedy. That's right, we've lost our will to live. I'm not supposed to, but what the heck? You two look like a couple of caring, non-litigious mammals. Strap yourselves in, and I'll turn on the cone. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Fools. really going to have to pay attention to the credits when we get to them, though. I, I, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm not entirely right, and I, I want to make sure <coughs> <Pardon me. coughs> I'm properly crediting, crediting Ooh, the people I feel who, tragically you know, empty. You know, did the work. Me too. It's as though an integral part of my essence has been ripped from my being. Integral. Let's do it again. Maybe later, chum. 
but I was too busy talking about other stuff during the intro credits, so... Jeez, what the heck? Alright. I feel empty. Because... Hey! What happened to my carefully collected box of useless junk? Lost and found, so... Will you help me? Depends. What do you want? Where'd all my cool junk go? It must have fallen out of your coat while you were on the ride. Here's a claim ticket. Take it to the lost and found. Nice, Jack. Max, let's get out of here. So, like, this, the first full screen game. Now, it's hard to say that when we played Do uh, Day of the Tentacle Remastered in the last one, which changed the presentation to a full screen presentation, unless it was in classic mode. This, in it, of the classic games, is the first real full screen presentation, as you can see. Now, um... In the process of doing so, I will say it's very Sierra-like, uh, and I don't think I'm out of line in saying that at all. Uh, yes, it doesn't have the top bar, but we have Holy several different verb toast. icons uh, that you can you select in between and even get seen. in between by ro well, there scrolling was your mouse wheel or uh, on an older computer that didn't have that, something? clicking your third mouse button, I lost a whole which may have had that if you had a mouse with three buttons. You must have been gifted with psychic powers to make up your obvious physical shortcomings. What I'm glad is not having to worry about the trackball release anymore. Having it catch, uh, sure. when, they right here, bad, it when they start going bad, and you had to fight with it. Well, here's all the stuff we've collected off the cold old tragedy today. It's all yours. I feel whole again. Plus, we got some bonus stuff. Namely, this fish magnet. Not sure about it, but it's, it's a powerful relevant. refrigerator magnet that says "World of Fish" on its side. I wonder and how that got in there. just unlocked a new location. Oh, we're here. It fits perfectly. I can't use these things together. Jesse James No, I hand. have to. Yeah, no, I remember. It's still you twitching. Get Dude at the top of the thing. All right. Total bug. Get out of here. You cannot scroll through. I'm wrong. You uh, go through the different uh, ones with right click on your mouse. Um, so ignore my whole statement previously. No, you are not going th scrolling through with that. Although it might work that way in ScumVM. Um, I cannot confirm that at the moment. But want to ride the tunnel of love? I usually yeah. primarily use ScumVM for this. I'm just trying to uh, use original interpreter for the sake of nostalgic reasons. Um, we first need to use a flashlight. Now, thanks. That's a good idea. Maybe I, that's a good idea. Maybe I should try it when I'm. That's a good idea. Maybe I should try it when I'm a little closer. Hmm. There we go. Initiate interesting animation. Spoosh. I can't pick that up. Nice beard. Get off of there, Max. Why? Check this out. 
I'll never shave again. Uh, you never did. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. No, really, I can't pick that up. Then you shouldn't have given me the option. Hello. Who are you? I'm Doug, the Mole Man. Who are you? I'm Sam. He's Max. We fight crime. And we like long walks along the beach. <laughs> what do you want from me? What the heck are you, anyway? I'm a Mole Man. Figure it out. I yeah. think he's a well, mole what man, I'm trying Sam. to figure okay the animatronics for the machines and engine for being an engine so I guess he's like the maintenance team. what the heck are you anyway I'm a mole man figure it out I think he's a mole man Sam I think that's all for now not really now fine you the can heck. find your own way out pressing the wrong button Not my type. Oi. Dougie? Don't call me Dougie. Do you know anything about Bruno the Sasquatch? Bruno the Sasquatch? Why, the stories I could tell you. Stop him, Sam. He's gonna tell us a story. I first met Bruno 25 years ago in Saigon. Aha. Uh -oh. <laughs> And then there was the time we all had our taxes done by a platypus, and... Shut up! For God's sake, just shut up! Look, we just want to know where Bruno is now. Gee, I have no idea where he went. Maybe you should talk to my uncle. Your uncle? Yeah, my uncle Shavul. He's really into Bigfoots. When I was a kid, he used to tell me stories about giant Bigfoot parties, where all the Bigfoots of the world would get together and dance Bigfoot dances, and... That's great, kid. Where can we find your uncle? I don't know. He disappeared a short time after he helped build the largest ball of twine on Earth. Bigfoot con. I think I may weep openly. Look. You two seem trustworthy. Oh, we are. Yes, you can trust us as far as we can throw you. So if you bring me some pecan-flavored candy, sure. I'll give you my key to Trixie's trailer. Amen. I'll also tell you a big secret about ah. how Bruno escaped. Why not tell us now? Because I'm hungry. I sh should have stuck, uh, stopped at Stucky's I before think coming to now. the circus. Fine. You can find your own way out. Which I think, frankly, would have been a little bit more Sam and Max. It's like, yeah, we'll get there, but we're stopping here first. Oh, wait, yeah, you gotta... Have to restart the ride. We shorted it out. get things running again. We tried turning it off and on again. <laughs> I don't know, Sam. Give it a shot. That was the most bad accolades way to do that. Um, I may be t I'm probably gonna take a very short uh, bio break here for a few, and I want to apologize for that. Uh, it's... Unfortunately, I spent years and years with Bad Kid. But, uh, oh, we are now at the world of fish. There's not a whole lot we can actually do here at the moment. Very distant rumbling. You should have thought of that before we left. I guess if we show up here with no, you have to get to there. There's some early 3D animation. 
Let's just start going off like crazy. Sorry, go. see 3d animation right there weird uh, let's grab the bucket no bucket of fish why not but we are gonna go somewhere else for now First, let's go to Stuckies. Gotta get some things. I gotta go to the bathroom. Including another mini game. Some pecan. I gotta go to the bathroom. Hey, look, it's Bernard with a mustache. Are you in charge here? Don't I wish. I'd have to go to Snucky you for another six years before I could run this place. But enough about me. What can I do for you? I'd like to buy this. Do you have any money? Of yeah, course of course. I do. Here. Will that be all for you today? Love the music version the of Conrad Bumpus's uh, Childhood in Brighton playing in the background. What can you tell me about these? That's a box of our world-famous Snuckies pecan-flavored candy. Beloved treat of couch potatoes everywhere. Anything else? Do you know anything about Bigfoots? Only what I read in the weekly International Evening Inquirer Star. Anything else? My little buddy has to use the facilities. Facilities be damned. I need a bathroom. They're in the back. Here's the key. I also need him to open this damn to jar. Chain. Out of toilet paper? Nah, we just had problems with thugs stealing our restroom keys. They're the cleanest in nine counties. The keys? The <laughs> restrooms. You need some help, little buddy? The keys are I disgusting, though. Myself, Sam. Now, anything else I can do for you? Get out of here. Nothing. You have no idea how often I hear that. Uh, actually, let's just go get S Max before he comes back with them damn keys. Max, are you as confused as I am? More so. More so. I think we should keep the key, Max. I think we should keep the rasp. You're probably right. No one deserves to use restrooms that clean. Well, that's all. Pick up that cup. Back to Snuckies. Because we do. Need him to open this. All right. Open this jar for me, guy. Hey, can you open this for me? Sure. Ain't a jar made I can't open. Way to go, Mustachio Bernard. Good job. Jack Lope. I can't pick that up. Let us go to the world for this ball yeah. Is there anything we need in there first? In Trixie's. 
Ah. Hurry up, Max. And then we miss it. Damn it. Hurry up, Max. Don't go anywhere. Stay here. More of that fancy, fancy 3D animation. Fancy, fancy. Take a leg, Max. It's got 3D whiz bangs and everything. Hey, look! Ooh. Yep, he does the choppy choppy. That's one long loose end. Too bad we can't reach it from this side of the deck. You always need a large piece of string in games like this. Totally. Not wrong. All right. speed and direction of the diner via these mounted binoculars because that makes total That's sense the most ridiculous thing <laughs> I've ever heard <laughs> nice uh, maybe not oh my god I put some damn glasses okay, on this thing I too the magnifying lens in front of the mounted binoculars That's relevant to a puzzle that exists later. Oh, we're totally talking to this guy about every single thing we possibly you can. Using my telekinetic powers to bend my tools. Why? To help me fix the rotating mechanism on this f***ing diner. Well, that makes sense. How do you bend these tools anyway? You think I'm going to spill my f***ing secrets to you two mama looks? How do you bend these tools anyway? You think? Hey, lay off the swearing. We're trying to appeal to kids. Mm -hmm. Get bent. Yeah. Percent sign hammer sand dollar sign. He is sign. the mind bender. And colon semicolon too. What are you f***ing doing? Swearing in longhand, asterisk mouth. Oh my god, is that a, a nod to Zach McCracken? Is he the mind bender? Is this the image that popped into Steve Purcell's head every time he ever heard the term mind bender? Was this guy with telekinetic powers that that uh, sat there and just bent things with his mind all the time, and that was his shtick? That is now hey, my head cannon. I accept this. Get bent. Uh, ampersand percent sign ampersand, ampersand dollar, dollar sign. sign and colon semicolon too what are you f***ing doing swearing in long swearing in long hand asterisk mouth that is a uh, close second for one of my favorite well I'm not going to throw an actual ranking on that. Yeah, that is right up there in one of my favorite adventure game lines of all time. What are these malformed tools good for? Lots, Lots of things. things. Like scratching those hard to reach places. Every place is hard for me to reach. Would you like a free sample? Sure. sure. Let me make one for you. All yours. Mind Thanks. Bender! Mentok, the Mind Taker! Anyways. Well, bye. 
All right, why did we do that, you may ask? Why did we do this, you may ask? It's relevant, but not currently. For example, we I don't know of elevator. any rocks, let alone ones that are uh, frog-like. We have to find Shavuul before we ever figure out about frog rock. Boom, boom, ba boom, ba boom. Boom, da boom. Let's go back to the circus for a second. We need to get into Trixie's trailer. Yes, I am involuntarily doing a Sam impression in regular in intervals. All right. Let's give him his damn pecans. Here, I thought you might like some candy. Thanks. The God's my favorite. Hey, you're all right. Take this key as a token of my appreciation. <laughs> the key is a fucking crowbar. Wow, this is some key. Okay, Sam, let's get the Keys are seldom keys in these games. Wait, I've got a great story you should hear. Keep it short, kid. Even the bathroom the key there. Tolerance for long stories. The rasp well, was the it useful all item. The day before today. I oh remember shit! Like it was Another yesterday. story. It's not widely known, but Trixie had fallen in love with Bruno. Every night she'd sneak into the freak show tent and read to him what she imagined to be his favorite bedtime stories. Is a self -mutilated parody of that giraffe girl has a crush on that big, uh, big fly. But she could never truly be happy until her beloved Bruno is free. Finally, she decided to do something about Bruno's predicament. She begged Flambe, the fire breather, to free the Bigfoot from his icy cage. Flambe took pity on poor Trixie and liberated Bruno. And the happy couple haven't been seen since. Hell of a story, ain't it? All the beautiful iMuse transitions between scenes and musical scores are uh, excellent. S musical score is the wrong term. I use the wrong word for things a lot. I'll pre-apologize, but only to a certain extent. I... I do welcome corrections, though, and I invite anybody to, to join in in the chat when uh, they feel uh, I can't into use it. these things together. I quite enjoy chatting away. Uh, yeah, we told. Oh, wait, yeah, can't use these things together. I don't use the proper key, Jack. It's a keys key. It's a key. No, Sam, that's a crowbar. Let's pummel somebody. Ooh, how about you? You said I can't use these things together. You totally could, though. Hey, Max, come here. What? Watch this. <laughs> well, this is undignified. <laughs> All right. Oh, boy. 
Bouncy, 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 bouncy. There's a scorecard That's from the Gator uh, Golf Emporium in Rumi Eyes, Florida. Uh, 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 take, take that stuff. Take it from here. Bring it elsewhere. Outside now. This song is over. Cause I left the thing. Good transition. I muse, ladies and gentlemen. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful game music software. Max. Hey, Max. What? Can you ring that bell? Sure. Give me a shot. Give me a chance. You're my hero, little buddy. Yay. Still not sure where he got the ability to morph into whatever during the, the cartoon series. Um, would be super useful in almost any other medium he's in if he had that ability. You know? Boom, 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 boom. Let's do this. All right. So. We may have bent this wrench, but we're going to still use it for its intended purpose. That did the trick. Hey, Max, climbing this fish. After you. Okay. It's kind of wobbly in here. God damn it, Max, just get in here. Hey, Max, come here. Geronimo! Boosh. Get him, old man. Today is the day. One must admire the skill with which the wily Uber Trout stops the Uber Trout. <laughs> this is one of the ten most liberating experiences of my life, Sam. Holy mackerel. I'm a trout, stupid. <laughs> Holy trout. I'd always thought you were made of plaster. You can do it, old man. You got it. Oh, he died. Well, I mean, there's bubbles. He's not dead, now, but he's floating him? down the river, face down. I'm thinking. It's not a good, not What's a good that sign. Noise? It sounds like you do when you've eaten too much Thai food, Sam. Oh, more fancy whiz bang 3D graphics. Look at that. It'd be really cool if. One day they ever did a remaster of that and the original 3D animation that they used before uh, digitizing it down to this could be seen. That, that'd be pretty cool. I understand it would be basic old 3D, right? But Wow. You see the detail on that? was beautiful. That was beautiful. Good, good job. I never really stopped and looked at that part before. The, the scaling of that giant fish. There is a giant model of that fish somewhere. With Salmon Max in the mouth. It's 
somebody went through painstaking detail to make a giant 3D model of this fish. That itself is pretty I awesome. Plan. But like, I didn't do this right. Like, missing some things. Big time. Hey, Max, I've got another plan. I think I like you better when you were clueless. Shut up and climb over the rail. Your scissors now, Max. Be scissors. Channel See, your inner scissors. So bad. What are you two doing? Oh here? shit, that's a big knife. Any more bright ideas? Run! Start crying like babies. Galileo was wrong. I don't think we were in a vacuum, Max. Hey, how will we get our car back? Wait for it. Yeah. The DeSoto's got a homing device where it just sort of shows up wherever we are. So I guess we could actually play this little mini game for a bit. Um, I'm gonna save here. And they were very nice in uh, adding some of these uh, controls here. So you can control each channel individually, which was very cool that they, that I think this might be the first, I didn't really check in Day of the Tentacle to tell you the truth. Uh, possibly Day of the Tentacles where this started. But anyways, uh, let's save. Yeah, I didn't play an original. I played the remastered, so I have played the I have the original. I meant in my playthroughs. <laughs> Let's do this. I haven't played this in like 20 years. But... Oh, I'm supposed to jump over. I completely forgot how this game. The entire purpose of this. Oh no! I said nine butter seconds on the next level. Thank you. 
Yay! That was fun. I score. All right, let's go here now. Gotta go to get a golf. Gotta go to get a golf. Gotta go to get a golf. Gotta go to Gator Golf. We're gonna save at Gator Golf because there is a glitch here where I've had the game crash as well. And GG. We... <clears throat> Gotta go to Gator Golf. Gotta go to Gator Golf. It's a, it's a tongue twister. Gotta go to Gator Golf. Gotta go to Gator Max, Golf. Max, let's go. To it's hard to say that without and slurring the, the last bit. Has no idea what happened to his big foot. That's what he said, Mr. Bumpus. You know, Lee Harvey, I'm beginning to think that vast unseen forces are aligned against my quest for a Bigfoot. Ditto. Ditto? <sighs> hey, look it. It's those two, uh, what was that word, Sam? Misanthropes. Misanthropes? Yeah, misanthropes. What are you, anyway, the president of the hair club for short people? This is Mr. Conroy Bumpus, famed country <coughs> western star. I'd suggest you show him some respect. Yeah, well, he looks like a lounge lizard to me. <laughs> and I'll bet his scalp itches from that bad rug. He is sort of a blonde Maybe leisure suit Larry type. Little furball. Yeah, well, I've got more hair on my fuzzy little butt than you do on that hollow country head of yours. Uh, okay, I've had enough. Nobody makes fun of my hair. Well, Max just did. I mean, Oswald kicks our ass, though. I will say, Lee Harvey. Hold still, you flea bitten polecat. It's not Oswald, it's Lee Harvey. But he beats our ass. I'm a little disappointed. There you go, boss. This one thug manages to beat up both of us. That's that's, that's generally concerning, Max. I don't know what that's about. What a jerk. Yeah, he is a it's jerk. It's a nice five iron, though. I hate country music. Ooh, all right. Well, that's a pretty big Easter egg there, Max. At least the second biggest monkey head I've ever seen. Aw, oh, let me look at it. Jerks. I'm scared, Sam. I want to I want to hit the the Easter egg. You. Yeah. Here we see Canis Doggis lining up his Ooh. I'm scared, Sam. As you can see, all of these have various things. We're trying to do something in specific here, though. Uh, but let's be a jerk for a second. For fun. And laughs. Hey! Yeah, yeah, can't dunk me. Hey! Yeah, yeah, can't dunk me. Just did it twice. Okay, so let's let's quit for a second. To fix our tie, you know, put that up. And then, let's replace that with something a little bit more useful. Something the alligator spice like. Again, I apologize for my bad Sam impression. I can't help it during this. At least, I'm not trying to do Max's accent. Um... I had stated an unpopular opinion at the beginning. I would like to see uh, Bill Burr read here. 
Super Max at some point, because I think it'd be hilarious. I don't know if I actually want him to ever play vo uh, Max's voiceover, because I worry that his own personality would override uh, Max's, but I think it would, it'd be great. too far. Let's so if I ask him to go here, let's see what happens. I want to also point out that these um, alligators are fucking cute. Like, look at those Pretty little crocodiles. Just nothing. Just not. It's definitely too high up. So what we're trying to do is create a bridge out of alligators. I think we also made it into Gator Golf. I, I would argue that it wasn't necessarily properly Gator Golf before. Sploosh. Why so? Really? Oh, that's weird. Yes, because he was smacking the fish. I don't smack the fish, I smack the button that smacks the fish. I gotta get this one back over here. And then I gotta get that one back over there too. The last one there. Guy, don't be a jerk. Come on, man. Sweet. All right. back and then come back and do the same thing because that sucks. Hey, you've made a path across the driving range. I have. Jeez, These are really some very around. content gators. They all look quite happy and yeah, just have no interest in anything other than You're their food, which is interesting. Today, aren't you? Yeah, well, why don't you try sitting in this smelly booth while I beat the hell out of helpless fish? Maybe I should just leave you there. Did I mention what a lousy gopher you were? Hey, 
want. I found another sample of Sasquatch fur and mange in the booth. Nice. While I spent my young life waiting. Sasquatch just fur and mange in that horrible always booth. Hard. Waiting. Jeez, Max, get over it. Okay. Here, you carry it. So, I believe sure now we have two samples That's of your business, Sasquatch. Sam. It's none of your goddamn business, Sam. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. It's a snow globe from the Mystery Vortex in scenic Gold Wump, Washington. Gold Wump. Let me see. Too bad it's empty or we could shake it. Like this? <laughs> yeah. Like this. Like that writing on the bottom of the globe. Nice. To Elmo, oh, the my little last Keep it's on almost trucking. Shavul, the mole man. Ooh, Shavul. Hey, maybe Shavul's at the mystery vortex. He is. Let's go there before I'm distracted by something. Okay. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Dunk the beast closed. Dunk the beast closed. We need glue. Sam, this place is making my head ping. Ping! That's probably just the metal plate in your head. <laughs> it's a little strongly worded. It's, let's hope that that's a little... Yeah, okay, let down a little bit. Wow, we're shrinking again, little buddy. It's a player piano. Whoa, it's like the abyss or something. That's <laughs> a mirror. Call that a mirror. Let's go to the gift shop first. Can't remember if the glue's there. We need glue. Goddamn 4D objects Yikes. flying through the air. Gravity's taken a holiday and lost its luggage. That's not what I'm about to lose. I think I'm gonna throw up. Throw down. Whatever. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. So we have the three hair samples now. I'll talk to this lady. Self give to all the wonk hoy odd talk. <laughs> I'm upside down, kitty, not dyslexic. <laughs> oh. Do you sell any snow globes like this one? We used to, but not anymore. Why not? Because they were having an inexplicably bad effect on the vortex. With every new snow globe we built, the vortex got weaker and weaker. The same thing happens when I watch sitcoms. <laughs> so we decided to discontinue the snow globes for financial reasons. Same thing happens I guess when this I watch means sitcoms. You don't have any snow globe stoppers. You got it. Well, that makes you less than useful. When the hell, man? All right, so we got the fur from here, though. That's cool. Uh, peace out. We'll oh wait, back. no. Does she know anything about Bye. Conroy Bumpus? It's all the same to me. She's got a very country voice. We should ask her if she knows anything about Conroy Bumpus. I could go for some right side up cake right now. It'd just make you down, Chuck. Trust me. Down, Chuck. Nice. Do you know who Conroy Bumpus is? 
Yes, and he was here looking for a Bigfoot. Then he got sick and had to leave. This place seems to have that effect on people. We'll be back. <clears throat> back, front, it's all the same to me. Guess it would be, right? Let's get out of here. <laughs> Alright, now we gotta go mess with the laws of nature and time and space. To achieve our own, own ends. It's important. Hey. Forgot I gotta use the mirror. Drippy, drippy. Water drippy. Step into the looking glass. Uh. Wow. The mystery vortex is controlled by giant magnets buried under the Earth's crust. Red. I'm strangely saddened by our callous shattering of a cherished American myth. Get over it. Okay. Sword, there's a bigger room than that. Anyways, we need to use the red room, red door, anyway. No, we don't. Where is a red door? There's no red door. We needed the green door. Oh, great. It's gonna have to. That's a mirror. It is. That's a scene skip. I'm sure all the fancy animation is the bane of speedrunners, but uh, it's gorgeous. Blue isn't right. Why am I having trouble walking past here? There we go. Now it's just real bright. We gotta turn off the red. Red's pointless anyways. Green. Green means go. I should go back there. No. Person. I'm Sam. He's Max. We bust punks. And we're over at you. We bust punks. That's cool, man. We bust punks. I'm Shavu. I love that. What do you want we with me? Hey, Sam, look. <laughs> well, this bottled water is a real letdown. We need your help. Help is my middle name. Or maybe it's Star Child. Star Child. Star Child. Shoved. Star Child. Ooh. Doug says hi. That karmic waste of space? I bet he still spends his days zoned out in front of the TV watching crummy reruns. Yeah, but now he's got cable. Uh. One, two, three. What are we fighting for? Just checking. What do Tell you me know about, about Bruno. Bruno. Bruno the Bigfoot? Why do people keep asking that question? Bruno and I go way back. I've always I've felt always a special, felt a special kinship with, with I feel the same way about sticks. Shh. I haven't thought about Bruno for years. Allow me a moment to karmically link myself to him. If you must. Careful. Oh Hold my on. god. I'm getting something. It's I color cycling. Frog Run. Rock. 
between the enchanted Argyle Forest and the inexplicable Valley of Lights. Wait, man. Bruno's in His trouble. pants don't, it's though. Like his shirt is color cycling. His cycling. His skin is. But his mustache and pants do not. Sorry, guys. But I can't get a clear psychic image of Bruno. Why does his shirt, the shirt, though? Is Maybe it's I haven't been able to concentrate glowing very through well. the shirt? Is that why? I lost my mood ring in the biggest ball of twine in the world. If you find it for Where's me, Where's the glue? Maybe I can help you. Can't remember where the goddamn glue is. What? Yep, yep, the glue is there. Can you repeat that bit about your missing mood ring again? Okay, man. I lost it in the biggest ball of twine in the world. I think he's trying to tell us something, Sam. Hey. Well, See I guess later, that's all for now. Mr. Ool. Make yourself at home. I'm sure there's something interesting in there. Don't touch that. No problem. All right. Later, shove. Feel like there's nothing else of relevance in any of the doors. There's a red door, but it's not going to go anywhere worth going. <laughs> Where do I get the glue from again? Guess. Theremin heavy. We're under heavy theremin attack. We're under theremin assault. Still believe that without the glue, there's nothing that I can do yet. Cannot remember where the glue is for the life of me. Well, that was useless. Yeah, sort of like those tax forms we keep finding in our mail. Ah, but I forgot a step. I still might might need glue though. Pretty sure I do. But I did forget a step. I don't think that's gonna do it. Shade too short. It worked. I love how that gruesome it is, awesome. too. Just like Not to really detailed. And this guy looks familiar. Don't know why. Have to be from like Day of the Tentacle. I don't know why I was thinking about glue. Look, we need glue. And the image that I had in my head was the glue from Curse of Monkey Island, now that I stop and think of it. It's just crazy talk. Just crazy talk. Alright. You're back. Yeah, and I got your ring too. Than a bread box. Three bread boxes even. What do you want now? Is this your ring? <laughs> cool, man. Have you found Frog Rock yet? What? No, but I don't see how finding it's going to get me any closer to finding Bruno. 
Finding Frog Rock's only the beginning, man. Once you're at Frog Rock, you'll need some samples. Samples? Three already. Yeah, man. Bigfoot samples. You know, fur and stuff. Three of them. Smear them all over Frog Rock. Put the fur on the rock. Got it. Let's go, Max. Wait. You'll also need some Mystic, Mystic Mole, Mole Man, Man powder. powder. You must be joking. No joke, man. Here, I'll get you some. Here you go. Sprinkle this Mystic Mole Man powder over the fur when you've smeared it all over Frog Rock. What'll happen then? Something wonderful. Thanks. Let's go, Max. Max is enjoying shrinking. Max! Stop now. No, I don't. Yes, I do. I can't talk to that. Why not? Alright. Ball of twine. The, the world's biggest ball of twine is incredibly important to this entire freaking game. Several key things hinge on this area. Like, they, they heavily... They get a lot of use out of this place. Master. Nah, it's gonna go away before you make it the goddammit, Sam. Too late. No way. Yes, I'm not blaming Sam. Yes, I am aware that it's, I chose something. I, 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 he is my mirror point and click puppet. His poor decisions are my own and no one else's. He's spared from responsibility. Now, if you were watching earlier and you're like, why did the, he rip the wires out of the thing and attach it to that and then put this thing on there it's, so I could do this? We're looking for Frog Rock. I can't remember where he said Frog Rock was going to be. So I'm just going to have to... Mount Badrich. See, there's one of these silly rocks in between every single one. So you need to know what he said, where he said Frog Rock was. It's frustrating that he sort of just shoot us off because I was going to ask him. And that's not necessarily exactly the same as everyone. Okay, but like, how do I get him out of this thing? I don't think that's the right place. Maybe I can ask Max. Hey, Max. Hey, Max. What? I wonder where Bruno is. I'm still trying to figure out where I am, Sam. The voice actor failed on the delivery there. I feel bad saying it because it's classic and all that, but that's not where the emphasis was supposed to be. Well, that's all. Like, I'm not sure where I am, man. See? The emphasis should have been on this the elevator. So I am going back to Shavuul to figure out the part that I missed. Yay. 
trying to decide if um, we're going to be ending the stream here soon because we are hitting about the time when I usually do end or if we're going to plow through to the end of the game. Um, it's hard to gauge. I think if I play through till the end of the game, I'm tacking another hour onto this probably. I don't know. No, I, I, my... my boys are going to be home from school soon, so I should button their up here soon, but let's, uh, get, I don't feel like forgetting about what I'm doing here, and then when we come back to it on Tuesday, having, uh, having to come back and ask Shavul yet again where we're going. Standing on weird, weird water puddles. Floating water puddles. You're back. Yeah. And Head we're bigger than a bread box. Three bread boxes, even. What do you want? Uh, where did you say Frog Rock is? It's between the enchanted Argyle oh. Forest and the inexplicable there. Valley of Lights, man. It was literally the next spot over from where I was looking at. Well, I guess that's all for now. Let's Make go. yourself at home. We're gonna... If we're gonna cap this off, we'll cap... Well, okay. Now ATM's back for now. Um, we're... We will continue. Hey, man. So we are about to go find Frog Rock on, uh... Our improvised distance viewing apparatus. Three D work that they have. Oh, there's no way I'm getting that in time. Yep, no, too late. Too late. Like um, the helicopter earlier, and even better, the giant detailed version of the fish you ride in there with. I I never really noticed that part before. I always focused on the helicopter and that, but the fish itself has a great level of detail. Egg leg, Max. That's, that scales impressively as it goes through the air. Uh, we'll see a lot more of that in full throttle our next title after we finish this one. Um, a lot more 3D of their, their early 3D implementations. For adventure games, at least. I mean, they're doing that with the X-Wing. I don't have a whole lot of experience with the X-Wing series or any of really their flight sim stuff, so I can't really be like, hey, this is the first time LucasArts did any 3D. Um, I did, you know, play uh, Dark Forces, and I, so, you know, I, I'm a Star Wars nerd. I love that stuff. But I did not play a ton of X-Wing, and I totally should. Can't pick that up. Did it get better at least like by like X-Wing versus TIE Fighter or like the later games in it? I know, of course, once you get into Where's the Argyle Forest? I totally missed the Argyle Forest, didn't I? But here's the inexplicable Valley of the Lights coming up, so it'll be no. Hmm, <sighs> it's a rock. It's a rock. And it's between the two things Shavul said it was between. It must be frog rock. 
Yeah. I think All I can right. see Frog Rock. So we have Frog Rock now. Hmm. Uh, speaking of primitive 3D, uh, I, got to I use this elevator. Uh, have just installed Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine. As I'm used to using the the German installer that that's been available online, and it seems to work pretty good. Just getting my controller properly mapped to play it will be fun. Um, uh, I remember the only real time I put into that game was uh, playing it on uh, my Nintendo 64. I can't pick that up. I hate how inflexible they are with the elevator. They're like, I have to use this elevator. You try to walk to it. It's like, I have to use this elevator. Jedi Knight. I spent a lot of time with that. A lot of time with Jedi Knight. I p play it from time to time. I tend to pick it up on every platform. Same sort of thing, too. <laughs> same with Jedi, uh, Jedi Knight 2. I remember being so stoked watching the development of that and waiting for it to come out. I, I loved how they're just showing off how your lightsaber could make trails in the walls as you went past. Um, and it was just a simple lighting effect that it was, you know, didn't actually alter the environment or anything like that. It just looked really cool. Wow, dude. Sam. Nobody asked you to go to... We're going to the car, bud. What the heck, man? Off in the distance. I get it. You're just my mindless point-and-click meat puppet. I can't... You're not responsible for your actions, I am. So I'll yell at myself. But, damn. Rog Rock it is. My magical mole man dust and everything. Put my hair samples on Frog Rock. I'm not sure, and and um. Then you have nursery rhymes trying to heavily incentivize you to be kind to frogs because who That's knows close, they might Sam. be like a prince or that sort of thing. Then you have other media where there's like uh, Mr. Toad who isn't particularly a nice person through most of that series in the Wind and the Willows. Uh, magical mold man powder. Do your thing. I have also been involuntarily doing a Sam impression half the time. I can't help well, it. <laughs> wait for it. It's probably bad. Sure gets dark quickly around here. Holy shit! Sh somebody's summoning Shenron. Max. In fact, I think we're witnessing a celestial convergence of some sort. Do you think it'll make that rock look more like a frog? Um, what's more disturbing, though, than my referencing an, an excessively popular anime that has nothing to do with this is the origin story of the, the orbs that that story is based on. Huh. This means something, Sam. Go to Bumpusville. Impressive. Sad stuff mocks everything. Well, let's go to Bumpusville. 
reason. They have built uh, Lee Harvey, the, the bodyguard here, to be so strong in this game. He literally beats the crap out of us at Gator Golf. You know? Um, Sam is, is out cold. Max, who you never really see him lose, is just tossed aside. Like... They get stomped by Lee Harvey. I can go back and use the wishing well. Absolutely, I could. It's customary to throw money into these things. I wish this game were over. I didn't save. Hold it. Get back here. Okay. <laughs> we're dealing with a very literal well here. I will. I absolutely will. Or... The truth is, I haven't I done, like, glitch Max protection save for a bit either. Dots. Exclamation well, that was place. a waste of money. <laughs> nah, this thing's malfunctioning. It's Max. Conray Bumpus's statues are ridiculous. got this gold record for daddy's two-stepping in his two-foot grave. It's hard to believe that he sold a million of tobacco spit blues. Zach. Why does it say Zach on it? Cry. It's titled Me, Myself, and I. Hey, you learned how to read. Conroy's first eight-track tape, flushed down the toilet of love. I had a question. I, I, so the guy in uh, the the restaurant in the world's largest ball of twine, who bends things with his mind. Bumpus got for let's drink beer and shoot things. Do you think that was like the image that Purcell got in his mind every time he heard the name Mindbender? Was just Two this dude, drinking, you know, wearing the shirt because you know Johnny Carson's era Lane. on TV, doing, doing his thing, uh, and, and whatnot. Yeah, no, Mindbender. I think I think that was a dig or a joke. He threw it's the a mind, a mind maintenance into droid. This game. I wouldn't know where to begin. Yeah, no, we gotta go deal with it another way. Well. First of all. Oh, absolutely. This is Conroy's first guitar. It says here that he practiced diligently for two weeks, then gave it up and hired a backup band. I absolutely have that to, or else how do I know about John Warren to ask about him? So do car crashes. It's a portrait of John Muir. 
Say, Sam, just who is John Muir? I was trying Who's to take John it here. Muir? It didn't work. Hey, guys, oh, this dope doesn't yeah, know who John about Muir that. is. <laughs> well, I was trying to figure out how to get them to talk. What a Good. maroon. What a Thank cow you. Poop. Sam, the dead animal heads are talking to me. Where? <laughs> Up there. That's sort of awesome. Well, big, he's a Bigfoot in disguise. You really shouldn't tell fibs about dead animals, Max. But stop bugging me. I'm admiring this portrait of John Muir. But who's John Muir? Do you really want to know? If you'll stop talking, sure. Okay. Hit it, boys. There once was a man named John Muir. A naturalist, noble and pure. His love for all beasties. The most and the leasties. Has never been equaled. Uh... Oh, sure. I very well may have to stop here, um, unfortunately. My boys are about to be home, and uh, I do tend to have to help. Wow! Them, it's Monster Truck Weekend! Come on, Happening take this every book Sunday. about programming this Sunday. thing first. Sunday! Okay, I'm over the shock now. I'm not, but I'm sure my gentle naivete will survive. My truck. Okay. Escalator. Gross. Head. Freaking. I don't want to strain myself. Slime. Stain. No, oh, wait. Yeah, no, I got it. What you doing? Hang back, buddy, and observe my magic. Yeah. My truck. Absolutely. <laughs> wow. I love how useful this, like, rotting hand is. Well, mummified hand, so not rotting. Oops. The detail in the hand when you shove it into the, the uh, ball of twine to get Shavul's ring. <laughs> it's totally... It's just, it's, it's, it's not cool. And Max is just cool with it. Whatever. Sitting there, Find probably eyes know. wide open the whole time. Maybe. I got a little lost in the troubleshooting chapter. Okay. And can't forget the pillow. Need that for uh, our spell later on. Well, the ritual. Let's go program the robot to do terrible things. So we can use reality 1.0. He's not my type. Damn it, damn it. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. Hey, it's the only downside to the autonomous Max. Is there's no effective way other than moving around a little bit more to get him to stop standing in the way of certain situations. Now that I've read that ponderous manual, I can move the robot around like this. But I would love if they ever did like a remaster I'm for impressed. Maniac Mansion or something. That's nothing. Well, Maniac Watch Mansion this. in specific. Um, if you could, uh, add a follow command. That was so you could have one of the other people just Sorry. follow you where you're going if you needed two kids this in one area. Instead of having to get one to there and the other, you know. Uh, yeah, that's sort of part of it. But, uh, in some cases that'd be really handy. And it wouldn't be super used, but still worth having. I think it'd definitely become handy, say, uh, in 
say if they were going to make a sequel to Thimbleweed. Please, something like that would be very, very helpful. No, we don't want to go there. We do want it to suddenly go there. Yeah. Also, let's go get our ass beat for stealing a wig. I don't think the cute little robot wants to follow its new programming, Sam. Now, using I don't the two... A cute little choice. I, I, I want to say here, at there a design point, not a developer, so not one to, like, say, I oh, I I'm to do it, but I don't know. But requiring a user to double-click, like, to simultaneously click both uh, to exit one of these close-up scenes is not, should not really intuitive. And the counter, like, the typical person playing games in these series will have gotten used to that combination meaning, like, skipping a scene or and basically being the same thing as hitting escape. So if you want to get out of those scenes, you have to hit escape as well, right? And I, I don't know, it feels not the most intuitive when there could just be a simple change of icon on the edges that says exit or something, which th is how they handle that this stuff. This is virtual later. reality? Or I may be other sick. situations. Pick up the sword. And... Magda never loses the smile for a second, too. Because it's well, like I'd never have the right reflexes the for it. What are you and then I gotta here? do all this shit again. Leaving. Boom, boom, boom. Get over here, you damned robot. Where are you, robot? Can I not use the robot in this room? I'm actually gonna do myself a favor. Follow me, you Spielbergian robot. Uh, make a save right here. Let's try this again. So at least I don't have to do as much. I can just do a reload. Uh, if I do it. Boom. True. Yeah, I'll do that again then. Sounds hot. Get along, little robot. What the? He's not getting any smarter, is he? So I haven't started on my my um, Commodore 64 mini playthrough of Zack McCracken yet, and just because I've done a playthrough on it of Maniac Mansion and didn't record or stream that doesn't mean that I'm not planning to. That sounds like a lot of fun anyway. Oh, I should probably do this before Jackass comes back, because he's effectively beat our ass several, well, at least once in this game. I still don't see what all the fuss is about. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. Well, it's, it's not. Yeah, totally. Well? 
I'm just doing it wrong, obviously. I mean, in that case, though, both using the sword and picking it, like, you would have now. to pick up the sword to use. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. Maybe I'm just... And what I was doing before was clicking madly to try to get at it instead of... Pick. Oh! Makes no sense, but we got the key. Well, I am the key master. Are you the gatekeeper? Does that come with a dental plan? I don't know what you two critters are up to, but I want you out of here. Now! I'm gonna take his hair anyway, but, but I don't have the the eggplant yet. Bumpusville is proud to present Shit. the master of melody, the king of country, Mr. Entertainment, Conroy Bumpus. I hate floor shows. Look at that grumpy uh, giraffe girl and Sasquatch back there. They're, they're non, none too pleased about being noticed. Oh yeah, no, they're hard black. Also, if I have the... I'm going to go back to the office because there's two drinking birds on top of Bosco's there that just as easily could have been drawn out, drawn in EJ. In fact, a lot of the style of this, minus the fact that it's obviously 256 colors, but for the sprites themselves, many of them could have been made with subdued colors in EJ, considering their design. They, they're very much all outlines and wide open spaces. Uh, you know, which I think is very much a, 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 I think in this case it's very much a Purcell thing. Uh, because if you look at how, like, their mouth animations are handled, and how talking works, like, especially when you're talking to, say, um, the, the fire eater at the circus, the way his mouth moves and whatnot when he's talking is very similar to, say, how meat hooks uh, face would look during his mouth animations. And it, it, it would totally make sense to, um, for them to do that. I do notice that they didn't go quite bur as Burton-y as they did in Dot. Uh, you can see it in the doors and whatnot. They are more natural shapes as opposed to the highly angleized Burton-y, uh, door shapes. Um, but still, they don't use a whole bunch of static hard lines. They avoid uh, right angles in their design work here to give effective slot work. Things I never really looked at before, but now that I'm trying to figure out how to draw backgrounds for adventure games and shit, I'm like, wow, these are the areas that are glaring. What does this say? It almost looks like it's a regular scent. Regular scent. Regular scented or regular scent. Is it like uh interesting. Yeah. Never noticed that before. Um it complete oh yeah, key. Next time I'm just starting the game from the beginning, I'll have to look at it when it's more empty. It would make sense. Aha. Uh 
stuff, Bruno. Gee, thanks. There's really not much left to this game, right? Uh, this is pretty close to the end. It'd be silly to stop well, any time. So. with you. <laughs> I'm feeling a little morally conflicted about taking Bruno back to the circus. I'm not. Let's go, you big lot. Stay away from him, you malefactor. I'm not a malefactor. I'm a lagomorph. Look, I'm not going back to the circus, and I'm late for a party. Oh, yeah, the Bigfoot party. Where is it? It's at Evelyn Morrison Savage Jungle in, in picturesque Half-Life, Nevada. Bigfoots. Yeah, that's not good. And their <laughs> dates. Only. And something that we all got used to, that would pre be probably very odd Let's for go. somebody trying to get into adventure games now, is the staggered conversation that is adventure games. How, how when you're talking to somebody, there's a, a, a pause in between each thing, and it's a little bit jarring, uh, or at least can be a little bit jarring. You know? We're used to it. But to, to an outsider, it'd be like, why is it all on? Oh, totally. And, I mean, now they've figured it out. Even, um, that's one thing I will say that uh, was a positive change within Scumbium over the last little bit was they um, and it came about as a side effect of the Ultimate Talkie Editions fan projects for Monkey Island 1 and 2 was they looked at how speech was being implemented and they made it so at least at the end of one line the next one will start and it did seem to it does seem to help with that little gap very nicely um, doesn't make it perfect, but it is noticeably better. We gotta go to the... So we can find out other places we need to go to, and then go there. This place is tiki -rific. Also very odd yeah, to have the main character the not be the one who has the white text. I just hope this place has authentic savage but tiki drinks without authentic Max also tiki says tank. the stuff that we're thinking. So, you know, Sam is the commentary on our choices, but Max is the one who celebrates them. Very true. Okay. Yep. Indy's text was yellow? Okay. Yeah, probably. Tell yeah, what are those? Oh. I have to look at her poster first. I remember seeing this movie in theaters when I was a pup. Okay. During the climactic okay. so scene, it's not weird. Giant rubber it's not weird at all. And Why don't they make movies like that anymore? I did not. I did not. What did I miss? Higher standards? Whoa, that was still waiting. Probably. Hmm. Oh shit. Well, I'll go through that again. Actually, let's. Um, I want to show you the. I don't know if I really need to go back and show these birds, but I'm gonna. Yeah. No, no, I don't think so. I didn't, I haven't been like, s well, yeah, but I mean, there's also not a whole lot that can go wrong other than glitches, right? Yeah, if it crashed on me, there's been a lot of ones that I put on that, uh, I, I have, uh, Can't 
go back to the office. Ah, oh, no way. Oh well. Oh, okay, cool. Then I am going back to the office. Here's this point. Okay. There's just literally these birds. They look like they could be easily, just as easily done in EGA and not be any different or less impressive. It's honestly just a throwaway, but it totally... It's like... Drunk, drunken pigeons appear courtesy of Drunken Loom. Drunken Loom was not the version we got. It was really different. <laughs> Drunken Lou. Carnival Town. Alright. Yeah, I saw you said... Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, no. Uh, maybe there's a delay on where I'm seeing the chat, but... I thought you were telling me to go on the carnival tent, so... so I, I went for carnival tent. Let's go to the Tunnel of Love, because I want to see the... the... the dig reference. So, I've never noticed that, and that's awesome. Oh my god, it looked... You can walk past the tunnel of love and then end up there, but it won't let you. Come. Wanna ride the tunnel of love? Yippee! I think it's just dead on. Aw, oh, no. This is a completely no. unusable thingamabob. What if I... Nah, it'll just make sure it's... Done. But, maybe... No. Okay. Well, it was worth a shot. It sucked. Yeah, well, I guess I did totally just say it, right? So... And everything that I'm doing right now is ancillary. Yes. Oh, I didn't say have, have a nice day this time. Now I get to sit and play that again anyway, so. Which one was the... Oh, wait. No, I'm not trying to load. We're good. Yeah. Yeah, no worries. Um, got distracted. I heard my kids come through, and then I stopped. Uh... We've only gone out together three times, and all... Another confused census taker? Actually, it was the commissioner with another idiotic... Wait, wait what do we need? We're going in there. We need the dam... No. No. Wait, we do need the light for the flashlight. We'll have to... Okay, cool. I figured you'd have to turn on the flashlight to see the stuff in the background. Joe, you want a piece of me, huh? Well, take a piece, and here's one for your old man. Yeah. Love you. Love you. 
Wait. I'll probably at the very least need the... Uh... Well, hopefully not. I'm going straight to the tunnel though. Get out of here, Bumpus. Oh, nice and blimey. He ain't here. So, now. Nah. Uh. Get out of Mr. Bumpus' way, ye partially clad barmids. Who was that? I don't know, but if it weren't for the carefree... In here. Stop. Okay. Yeah, I need the... Uh, I can't use the... It's my little... I just love to turn this guy inside out. Ooh, that gives me an idea. According to these orders, something bizarre is happening at the carnival. I thought that was the whole point. Maybe we should... Um, I'm just in the middle of this with ATM at the moment, but... Okay. No worries. I love you. Love you, Bob. You're awesome. You're incredible. Give this guy... But yeah, so here's an opportune moment to watch his talk animation. Check this out, Jack. We're the freelance police. Here's our authorization to be here. To what, like we were saying now let us in before get we lots of head with movement. Renewable fuel source. Uh, he's not really going to run these by the boss. Lots of up and down head movement while talking. Um, very toothy. Uh, you see that with uh, Meat Hook, or say in the second game, you see it like with the guard on Fat Island. <laughs> That was needlessly cryptic. I'd be peeing my pants if I wore any. Everything seems to be in order Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Sam, look Absolutely. over there. Absolutely. Such a uh, bigger sprite. And so, so much more. So, so much more frames well, of animation. I tried talking to you, but you were off wallowing in your own self-pity. Oh my god, I don't want it's to go through all this. I'm literally going long <laughs> right at the moment, I'm dude. Deep, what? Leave everything to us, and we'll have those abomin- Very good. Okay. Tunnel of love. Tunnel of love. Tunnel of love. Tunnel of love. No, I don't. Oh my god. Wanna ride the tunnel of love? Yippee! Okay, we're gonna go ahead and make a save. Better to reign in hell than to serve in heaven. Milton. Heaven is a place where nothing ever happens. David Byrne. Would it be tacky to root for the snake? Would it be tacky? Recreation of that Evelyn Morrison classic, Revenge of the Gill Guy. You really should get out more, Sam. That's one spooky Gill Guy. That's one spooky Gill Guy. Never 
scare the bats with the light. Just another random acts of violence. Okay. Thank goodness today's leaders react more calmly to negative opinion polls. Hmm. Now I gotta remember which one that was. Was that back up? Okay. I can't talk to that. <laughs> talk? Jesus. Would it be would it be tacky to root for the snake? Would it be tacky to root for the snake? Better to reign in hell than to serve in heaven. Milton. Would it be tacky to root for the snake? Oh my god. Better to reign in hell than to serve in heaven. Milton. Heaven is a place where nothing ever happens. David Byrne. Would it, would it be tacky to root for the snake? Okay. Interesting. Um, I am going to try to remember. Hopefully it was. It was. Okay. Ooh. Can't talk to that. We're friends, bro. Here. and fame B movie star. Yes, I am she. I've seen all your movies. My favorite was Robot Terror from Beyond the Galaxy. Is that the one where the alien says clam do beretta nimno? No, that's <laughs> Vampirus in prison. Oh yeah. Would you like Evelyn Morrison's autograph? Actually, we just want to ask a few questions. Evelyn Morrison is always available for interviews. How'd you end up in the... I bet it was a sordid combination of fast cars and fast living. It was the stars. Bigger movie stars than you? Pshaw. No, the stars didn't get bigger. Not touching buttons. The rubber monsters got smaller. I still say it was a lurid tale of sin and depravity. But... Doesn't she you haven't seen a short, self-absorbed, crazy as a bed bug country western singing star around here, have you? If you mean Conroy Bumpus, Evelyn Morrison had him ejected from the premises hours ago. Why? He was harassing Evelyn Morrison's guests. Have you had any problems with the Bigfoots? Morrison has always worked well with grotesque creatures of the night. I'll take that as a no then. Action! I'm ready for my close up, Mr. Corman. I have the sudden craving for an umbrella drink. Evelyn Morrison's Jungling has the greatest umbrella drinks in the world, with over 237 kinds of rum. 
all in just one drink? Sweet. Which way to the bar? <laughs> Take it easy, Max. You don't even drink. Oh, yeah. Toucan must have put words into my mouth. I'll get back to you later. Evelyn Morrison will be here. In the meantime, why not take some of these brochures? Hey, that'd be handy. They have Evelyn Morrison's autograph on them, making them must-have collectibles. Thanks. We can look at them and find out where else we gotta go. Hmm. I hate it when you hum, Sam. It sounds like a high voltage tower. <laughs> These are pamphlets for the Mount Rushmore Dinosaur Tar Pit in Bungee Jumping National Park in North Dakota. And some place called the Celebrity Vegetable Museum in Goat Liver, Texas. This this game is somewhere in between short. I think and I like the humming long. better. It's not long, but it's just above short. So you, you think of it like, okay, that's one you can easily break up into two. And then you play for two hours. And realize you're, you know, closer to the end than it's worth. Let's go to those places. Can't go anywhere till I make a... a costume anyway. Let's do a request that they start growing a John Muir uh, eggplant for us. Oh wait, but we didn't take the picture, we just looked at it. Fuck. I can't believe I have to go back to Bumpus though. What do you make of this? Famed naturalist John Muir, huh? This looks like a zucchini squash to me. Like a zucchini <laughs> squash. This, but it'll take a short while. We'll be back. Yeah, yeah, I should have totally just stopped and went around and looked at everything, and then it would have definitely been stretched out. It's an eggplant that looks somewhat like Conroy Bumpus. Awesome little cutscene. Go, Indy. Go, Indy. 
I love how they changed uh, Sam's whole palette to match Indy as well. <laughs> it goes from this blue coat and blue hat to, to the, the brown and tan. Hey, that hurts. That was Not only yet. in the CD version. Interesting. I never noticed that. I, I had the floppy or, uh, originally Let's as well. Alright, so we got that element of our, uh, our costume. Hmm. Interesting. No, totally. It was it. it you, you know, otherwise, when they finally put out like the CD version of MI2, which was you know just MI2 on a CD with no other upgrades, they would have upgraded it. But. That's a good idea, but there's nothing for the twine to catch on. I can't use these things together. Actually, truthfully, I am going to have to stop here. Um, and then maybe when I come back on Tuesday, um, I'll spend more time just, like, looking at everything and not just doing trying to remember in my head what the next move is to do but uh my wife has been dealing with our kids for for long enough and uh i should go help with that all right let's see <laughs> Thank you very much for popping back on too, man. Uh, I'm glad I was still up and going, and it was, uh, uh, you know, I, I'm glad I managed to catch you when you came back on. Um, always fun to to poke around and and just see uh, all the little factoids from and behind, and just like playing around and commenting on the game and and the you know the evolution of these titles as they go through chronologically. So, uh. I don't know why that has no okay so thank you very much for joining me have a great day guys take care and I will see you again on Tuesday more than likely barring any sort of big issue um if I I am considering in the future pulling in another day for the regular scheduled streams and that would be uh su Saturday probably uh, that be when it be handiest, but mm, can, I'm trying to trying to figure it. Basically, I've been streaming every night with my life anyway, so I'm getting used to doing this a lot more. Anyways, guys, have a great night. Uh, if you've been watching this on YouTube and the eventual rebroadcast, and you enjoy what you've been watching, be sure to click like and subscribe. And uh, be sure to check us out Tuesdays and Thursdays and maybe eventually Saturday as well on twitch.tv slash TheRealGlowKid where we're currently broadcasting at the moment. Yeah. Thank you very much again and I hope you all have an awesome day. Take care, ATM machine. Have a great one. <laughs>